And we continue our team coverage of the bridge breakdown with the Target 12 investigators. Our team has been combing through the documents and has now learned that crisis is affecting other state transportation projects. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the latest findings. Tim. Mike Shannon, we obtained more than 200 pages of internal communications at DOT, including emails from outside contractors, and they show the bridge crisis led one major contractor to almost immediately warn of a domino effect. Internal emails obtained by Target 12 through a public records request show an outside engineer spotted a critical finding on the Washington Bridge on Friday, December 8th. A DOT engineer responded, it seems there are no immediate actions to be taken right at this moment. There are no documents from over the following weekend, but the situation escalated after DOT officials met Monday morning with Director Peter Alvidi announcing the closure of the bridge that evening. We're closing down. 195 West at the Washington Bridge. Just two days later, other projects started feeling the strain. The main contractor for the nearby Henderson Bridge, Barletta, sent this formal letter warning the state that workers at its steel subcontractor have been requested by RIDOT to immediately redirect resources to the emergency repairs work over at the Washington Bridge. Barletta told RIDOT that because of the change in conditions, the Henderson project would get more costly, saying that company officials reserve our rights to all cost and schedule impacts resulting from this change. Like who was minding the store? For State Rep. Patricia Serpa is the chairwoman of the House Oversight Committee and expects to hold a joint hearing with the Senate on February 12th to examine the bridge closure. How was the bridge fully operational and in, in great shape in July and then several months later in December it has to be shut down and traffic diverted and 90,000 people inconvenience. It's just it, it doesn't fit. As we reported last night, RIDOT made Target 12 pay $300 for the emails, yet Ashina said they still withheld an undisclosed number of documents. I have asked the agency to tell us how many items were withheld and what they include, but at this hour have not yet heard back from state lawyers. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.